Hi guys, it's Gunny. I thought I'd take you on a uh, quick float around Kangaroo Island, uh, leaving out of Kings Code Airport. But the weather isn't real flash, so let's see what happens. Uh, it's certainly a weather I would not fly in normally, but always up for a challenge. Let's get on with it. <laughs> Well, welcome everybody to a, uh, a short flight from Kingscote Airport back over to Penishaw in some pretty rough weather. We've got some low cloud, I believe the cloud base is about 3000 or thereabouts. Uh, Visibility is fairly minimal, I've got the GPS all up and running, so it's not only a short flight, so we'll attempt to fly across here and there isn't actually very much at Panashore so uh, it'd be pretty hard to find in this weather anyway so we'll use the um, tools we have available just checking out the aircraft we have uh, plenty of fuel we magically found some more temperatures and everything are in the green vacuum and amps are good all those switches are in, everything's ready to go here, flaps are up and down, done all the pre-takeoff pre stuff to save taking you through all the, all the boring, <coughs> boring stuff again. Uh, we're going to take uh, runway 19 and uh, we'll head out through that way and uh, we'll give Kings Code a call. So Kings Code traffic, Kilo Zulu Romeo, texting runway 19 King's Coat. Checking here. Let's just have a quick look down. Everything all working here. That's all good. So let's give you that middle view. I like that one. This is a nice view. So let's just taxi gently. I like this. Actually animated. Pretty nice, isn't it? It's the little things in life that often make it the best, doesn't it? So we'll taxi out to the right here. I had a really interest, interesting flight that I wanted to share with you guys, but um, I had some major issues with the sound on it again, and I just don't want to give you something where the sound is absolutely rubbish on it. Um, the sound on this, hopefully I've tested it, seems to be a good level of, even at full power, um, you can hear me clearly so that seems to be better but using the separation and all the four tracks that's available in the beta version of shadow play at the moment just doesn't seem to work in um, in x-plane oh and I've just downloaded I think is it one of these just downloaded one of these off the website uh, a free download so I haven't had a chance to fly it yet I've only done it, done it this evening um, I'm not really into the bigger stuff. There's a lot of lot you've got to learn to fly though, so I'm happy keeping with um, just the lighties. You know, that seems pretty pretty challenging as it is. So let's um, see. I just want to check my headings as well. We'll do all that when we get to uh, the entrance to the runway. Remember, taxi at about walking or maybe a little bit more than walking pace, especially if you've got a long way to go. And you always stop at the yellow lines, you do not cross them. There's a bit of lightning out there, that's a bit unusual. Now, I've just set up this weather, it's not real world weather at the moment, but I just want to do something different. So, the flight I had the other day, I'll just talk about that now before we get going because it was really uh, entertaining. I took a flight out, similar as we're going to do today. Um, I'd forgotten about my failures because I don't go, I'm not going to plan failures to happen just for the sake of a video. Um, that's not what I'm about, but I plan them over a long period of time. So, thousand minutes or more, you know, between mean failures. So, but I'd flown out and I'd been up for about mm, 15 or 20 minutes and I was just about to turn around and come back after I'd been over to the coast. And um, the throttle stuck full on, which is 
I thought that was this is really bizarre. Um, I had set it for engine to fail and other things like that. That was all possible, but I didn't think it would do that particular failure. And it actually took me a couple of minutes to work out that there was something really wrong. So we ended up coming back. Um, the long story short is we got came back okay, and um, and oh okay, I didn't know that was there. Oh, interesting. I hadn't bumped into that before. That's something new. Um, and, and we come around and at about the end of the strip, I just killed the engine and did a glide landing, which was interesting though. But uh, yeah, sort of, you know, anything could happen. I have checked all the failures and all the failures seem to be off at the moment. So nothing should happen on that front. So, all right, let's move on. Uh, no wind showing there. Now that isn't quite right, is it? Because we're at 27 feet. So let's take that back. Or 24 feet above sea level. 27, I think, is correct. So about there. That's pretty close for government work. And um, we've got this. So we're going to be heading nearly east anyway. So I might just put that heading bug around there. Um, fuel's good, everything else is good. Let's do our run up check. So up to 1700 RPM. 1700, neat there. Okay, and rock back. Slight drop, picks up. Two back, drop, back all good and it remained clear as well as it dropped so that's a good thing so I think we're pretty much right on that let's check and see how far we can see just sit down in the seat the vision is not very good I don't think this would be um, VFR legal so for a bit of a challenge we'll give it a go just for a bit of fun Kingsgate traffic Kilo Romeo Kilo Zulo Romeo Entering and backtracking on runway 19, King's Code traffic. So let's head back out. Always wait and see if you get a response. You might get a no hold or you might get a call from another aircraft that's in the pattern. Checking the runway. Check the other way. Oh, it's fairly minimal. Nothing like a bit of a challenge, I think. It's flying in cl really clear weather all the time. It's probably not the... Um, well, I, that's what I've done most of the time. I've actually flown in real clear weather for the most part. It was, if it was a bit crappy or cloudy or really strong winds in Adelaide, then um, we just stayed home and drank coffee. We've got still got some cars moving out there, so we can see okay. See what the visibility is like. <coughs> okay, lining up on one nine. Penishore is um, just about a nothing runway, so we'll see if we can find it. Well, we should be able to find it okay. And uh, we'll look at time and see whether we land or whether we come back. What's over there on the Hobbs meter? I'm interested just to. Um, can I look over there? Yes, I can. Boom, 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 boom. 30 hours total. So, you know, that's what I've been playing around on this one for. 30 hours. Seems a lot less than that. Okay, ready to go. Kingscote traffic, Kilo Zulu Romeo departing west overhead to the departing overhead to the east, isn't it? And Kingscote traffic. Okay, rolling out, powering up, keeping it straight. Just watching that initial swing, making sure it doesn't get away from us. Keeping that right knee, keeping that center line underneath our right leg. Okay, if you're getting that squealing when you're flying, or when you're landing or taxiing, 
60 knots and rotate then you are just too violent on the on the stick guys yeah, this certainly isn't VFR weather for me so I haven't flown in anything realistically like this but a nice challenge keeping it straight oh we're IFR already well this will be a challenge because I haven't flown IFR ever okay we're coming up at 500 feet so I'm going to start maintaining our scan which is speed across to horizon cross to altitude down to trim cross to direction cross to rate of climb or descent you can see I've got this thing to to turn left already haven't I thousand feet let's start a, a gentle left turn and we'll I think I'm going to keep climbing and allow us to get above this um, if I think if we get to 3,000 we'll pop out over the top of it and get too much on it a little left okay speed's good attitude is good don't worry about that that's nothing to do with us send to the trims Okay, this might be boring to sit and watch, but I'm telling you, it's, it's damn entertaining trying to fly it, guys. Just keeping on that um, artificial horizon, checking my speed. Checking my rate of climb. It's good. My direction's good. Needs a little bit of right rudder with the power still. We've got 75 knots heading in the right direction. I'm just going to keep this straight and level till we get out of trouble, and hopefully, we pop out on top of the clouds. See, that initial bit was a little bit disconcerting, you know. And you don't actually have the feeling of the aircraft moving you know, under your butt as you're, as you're heading out, so you keep it steady. I'm sure that's just uh, markers or distance we get from the airport. Keeping everything good. Engine, we need to trim, we need to mi mixture. As soon as I look away we start to roll left. Let's roll right a little bit, get back onto that easterly heading. Keep that steady, keep on the instruments, don't look outside. Check speed. Coming through 3000 now. Well, I'm just going to keep climbing and keep it straight, guys. getting near something dark so that, that means we're going to pop out on the other side checking my attitude checking my direction checking my rate of climb checking my speed checking my turn and bank that's all looking good Okay, I'm going to risk having a quick look out, seeing what we've got. Okay, well we can see reasonably outside. At 4,000 feet. Might level at 4,500. Straight, need to go right a little.
little bit of coastline there, that's all right. So let's, uh, we might level at the four and a half. And we do actually have reasonable view, so that's good. Uh, climbing in speed, trimming those down. I'm going to maintain the 4,500. So east is least, so we want one, three, five, or seven, really. But it's a short flight, so I'm just going to choose to disregard that for the moment. And go to the map, see if that's going to work. Seems to be a bit hit and miss this map. There we are. So we've got a few aircraft around us. Got a baron out there. It's nothing close, most of it's leaving us, so that's good. Let's have a look and see how we're going in this front. Uh, not doing too badly. Okay, four minutes till we arrive. <coughs> so it seems like the weather is better here than it was back at Kingscote. So if we're four minutes out, I think we can start about a 500 foot per minute descent rates let's bring our RPM back Well, an interesting start, not a great deal to see. What's out the back? Not much happening out there. Let's lift us up a bit so we can see. I really wanted to have a look at the, the forestry work that I've done. I've been doing some work on the forests here. I've been around the whole island in um, overlay editor and where there was uh, reasonable forests I added them to it so there's real 3D forest on top of what is um, ortho work so the visibility we're starting to lose again and really being this is just a dirt strip nearly nothing on it I think we'll be in a little bit of trouble trying to land on it so we've got the other one here oh. did you hear that okay now we've gone into the suit we need to get our head back in the instruments again and uh, be honest I think I'm going to abort this flight because I'm lucky to be alive for a start and head back to Kingscote and see if we can't land safely and just do that I think is the best thing that we can do so let's start a gentle 180 degree turn so we're going to turn just gently left keep our attitude right our attitude correct not right Keep our altitude or ASI. Trying to keep that at zero. Try not to overturn, just let it come around. You don't want to be turning too tight if you were to get into this situation as we have here. I expected something better, but as we get lower, the cloud seems to get worse. So uh, we'll be using the um, the GPS as a line for the main runway to locate ourselves and a lot of guesswork on the way in because I don't know how to set up for a um, GPS approach at this point it's something I need to do so we're heading back in the right direction at least 
Our speed's getting high, our descent's there, so let's just back that off. A little left. So we should be heading basically west to head back. So let's keep our attitude correct. So let's retrim for level flight at 3,500, 3,000, feet, 3,600 feet. So let's have a look there. Uh, main runways are visible. So as soon as I look right, I start going right. And that's what you've got to be very, very careful of. Main runway here. And we want runway... I don't think it matters at this point. The wind was, was reasonably light. So we might leave that for the moment. We'll just concentrate on keeping level. There is something of a horizon there, but I don't know if that's true or a false horizon or if it's just cloud levels. So can't work on that. Descending. We don't want to be descending. We want to be maintaining level flight. And I want to fly it manually. I don't want to just hand it off to the uh, autopilot to do. But if you're in this flight and you got here and you're only a VFR pilot, that's what I recommend you would probably do. You put it onto the, uh, the GPS and trust it. That's where people die. They don't trust instruments. I think I've mentioned the channel before, Mr. Aviation 101. Uh, a really good flight, a really good uh, channel. Um, real world flying of a guy who's become a CFI. Instrument rated. Uh, uh, he was going for the commercial, I think, uh, more recently. Still a student as well, but his uh, uh, insight to flying is just really well entertaining and he was I saw him do an approach to a, a large airport it was a b-class airport in pretty crappy sort of conditions like this and um, you know he found it pretty interesting you know, pretty difficult as well and he had a, an actual instrument rated CFI you know sitting next to him one of his friends and all the time they were in in that the uh, See if I had a hand right next to the yoke, ready to take it any time he thought things were getting a little strange. And the young guy who uh, runs the channel was saying, I just have this feeling that I'm turning left and I want to turn right. You know, it, was just, uh, it was just, don't do it, just maintain what you're doing. So you can't always believe your ears. So we'll see if we get out of this one in one piece. Attitude, speed, altitude. Don't like that that's got a roll in it. Clear that up. Attitude, nose up. So distance that we have to go. Probably about 15 nautical miles. Notice we get a bit closer, I'll zoom in more and then we'll place ourselves maybe to the right here and then line ourselves up on that, uh, on that runway. Okay, put that away for now. Concentrate on the flying side of things. You always aviate, com navigate, and then communicate in that order. That's your priorities, guys. It's proving to be interesting, isn't it? Um, it's more difficult than it looks. It's probably very boring to sit there and watch a screen which is mainly white. I'm just correcting my direction. And it doesn't matter, I'm just heading a little bit right. That wasn't conscious, but um, it's, it's practical. Because I want to end up over here. And I want to end up over there and lose a bit of altitude in the process. There isn't anything too dangerous uh, around the Kingscote Airport except about 20 miles north of it there's a, uh, a big tower so um, that's not uh, an issue for us at the moment I don't believe maintaining our altitude 3000 and well 600 and a bit nearly 700 but that's okay considering the situation we're in now, if you'd got yourself in this situation as a VFR pilot um, you would certainly be kicking yourself and I'm sure you'd be looking uh, for some help on there, so 
There isn't much to be seen, is there? Not much at all. Keeping on the instruments. I'm going to give myself the, the pilot eye view. Just very gentle on the instruments as well, guys. I'm just not moving around too much. Concentrating that artificial horizon and my VSI vertical situation indicator. And checking on our map here. Now we're getting very we're getting down, so I'm going to reduce that. King's Coat don't need that. And I'm going to go back on power. And I'm going to put the master in of the mixture. So this is 15 nautical miles. And now I'm just going to put that away so I can concentrate on what I'm supposed to be doing, and that's flying. Look at what's happened already, you know. Just a moment away. Just a moment away. And we're already descending. So I want about a 500 feet per minute descent. Maintaining that pitch. I'm happy with that. It's happy with the speed. That's the way. Brakes are good. Rudders are working. Don't need those to go off on me as we get closer. What's the descent rate? Be conscious of our altitude. Remember, 27 feet is ground level. In that descent rate. Quick look. Need to we've flown past it, it would seem, so it was closer than I thought. Uh, check altitude, flight controls. Okay, we're actually 1.1 nautical miles from it, so um, we've got we're going to fly left. Gentle left turn. And we'll head, um, it will be south. Watching our descent. One nine being the outward, and we'll have one zero in the northwards coming back. Yeah, one nine. So I still need to keep going left a little. One eight zero, one nine zero level. Two thousand feet, five hundred feet descent rate. Bring that back. Put this on the other side. Keep an eye on the descent. I don't want to fly into the ground. Little power. Level up. Check my heading. Looks like we're in the rain. You can hear that. There's a bit of a rattling. Okay, so we can head up to about here. And then we'll come back around. So you immediately hear that noise climb, and that's you descending too, too much. And now climbing too much. You don't want to get into a pilot induced oscillation that's going up and down and up and down, porpoising essentially. Okay. Conscious that we are relatively low now. We want to be level. A little bit right. On a heading outward, outward turn. OK. 
okay. I think we'll get a better view as on here as we come back because it'll be at the top of the screen. I think we'll get better. We don't want to descend. We're only at 1,700. Watching our speed. We can remain in the wide arc. That is probably not a bad thing to do. Okay. I'm going to head a little bit to the right, out to 210, so that when I turn, I don't overturn on the way back. So just give that a little bit of time. Think about what you want to do. Speed, altitude. See, I'm just about breaking it into a sweat. It's a good thing it's not real. Okay, so now I'm going to start a, a gentle left turn and aiming for a 180 degree turn. Watch my balance is fine, my speed's fine, my heading's moving, my attitude is moderate. Okay, we'll have a, at least a, a general indication of the runway on the graphic here. And we are currently 4.9 nautical miles. Need to there we go. That's what I was hoping for. Now I need to turn left and onto runway heading or near runway heading. Watching my altitude, watching my speed. Why dark? I'm gonna put flap down now and bring my RPM back okay leveling out oh, we're going to be a little bit right of center at the moment watching a speed watching speed wow level level out nose up okay looking for a gentle descent we're going to be quite right at the moment so we go right some more you can see it's run with the, the center line. If you had a center line, it would be really nice extending from there, but we don't. It's going to sit up a little, little higher. Three nautical miles. I'm going to descend some more. Allow it to descend. Zoom in closer. Descending slowly. Okay, coming back around on our heading. Was it one zero one zero? Is this what are we on? Fifteen nautic miles. We're on ten. Okay, so we can see the runway is quite a lot better now. Let's turn left and bring this major one in line with us. Have it ahead us, ahead of us here. Maintaining speed, general descent rate, 2.5 nautical miles. Looks like we're doing okay. A little bit to the left. Three nautical miles, it's ahead of us now. Walking it in, just walk it down the screen. A little bit to the left. Okay, steady on the controls. Gentle descent. Second stage flap, trim. So we're coming back in. Okay, keep it level, keep level, 1,000 feet, watch the descent rate, watch the speed, a little bit to the right, a little bit to the right, we just left a centre, nose up, add power, descent rate, ground nearly in view, 
can see it through the window. We're a little bit left. One nautical mile. See it. Ground's close. Nose up. We're just about over the strip. Looking for the strip. Looking for it. Over the strip. There we go, guys. Look at that. Feet on the brakes. We're going to save our butt. We're going to try. Get that out of the way. Okay. I tell you, hell, that was interesting. But we made it. And as much about managing the tools that we have available to get ourselves back safely after what would have been a really stupid decision to go flying in the real world. But, you know, you could take off and it could be alright and it could close in on you like that and then you're left with nowhere to go. So, flaps up. And um, I think pretty sure we, we can taxi back from down here the I can't see the we have another runway down here as well uh, okay let's pull on that it's not going to help us really sure it's over to the left to get back so do that well thanks for coming along and if you stuck it out guys that was um, maybe something you should try I always see people flying in really good weather whether it's simulator or or you know simulator anyway no everything's always easy it's never any problem you know um, maybe you should consider challenging yourself I tell you that was certainly a challenge so we're going to turn, look left. Well, oh, there's the um, area over there. This was the. Uh, I'm just getting back over to the um, run the hangar, would, or getting back over to the the pan would be interesting. Let's go along here. This is an, one of the dirt runways, so the, res the rolling resistance is pretty high on it. You need a fair bit of power just to get moving. Looking for anything that resembles a runway, because I... A taxiway. Or well, if we head back to our original runway and go to the other end of it, then we'll also end up at the right place, so... I'll put my hand up and say I'm lost right now, other than I know roughly where to go. And my runway diagram is behind me somewhere. So we'll just tough it out. You'd call the tower and they'd guide you back or whatever, if you needed it. track on this one again you'd, you'd be calling the tower and telling them that you're entering what runway and going backwards and forward on and things just so they know where you are
just going to see if I can see my diagram, which would be really helpful. It's not close at hand, so we'll continue to wander aimlessly around Kingsgate Airport. best thing I could have done was just to backtrack on that main runway. That's what I should have actually done in hindsight, guys. But it's not what we did. Right. We'll take the dirt path. I think it's a rough, tough Cessna. was eventful. Let's go and find our marshaller. Should be a marshaller over here somewhere. There's our man sweeping the runway, the taxiway, and there's our marshalling man. Let's not run him over. Taxi in. And there we go. There we go. Brakes on. Well, that was pretty eventful. Let's uh, just do our mag checks. All good. Back up. Back up again. All good. We can turn uh, just about everything off. Uh, beacon. Landing light will turn off. Taxi light will turn off. Nav. Strobe. Pedo heat. Put the beacon on just so they know we're still running if anybody comes running out and uh, pretty good and not bad frame rates too 45 46 <laughs> everything's working well okay well hey thank you guys for coming along and uh, please don't forget to, to like and subscribe if it's the first time you've visited my channel it's really great had a lot of people over the last uh, two weeks come on board and subscribe really great to have you on board uh, boys and girls men and ladies equally um, I'm able to see that there's uh, quite a range of people and uh, we'll see you again on the next flight we have at let's fly VFR let's catch you again real soon thank you